anymore. That is so embarrassing. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Well, as you guys know, last month I held a little contest on who could guess how many jars of nuts and more I would eat in the month of July. And it actually turned out to be a nuts and more giveaway because they saw my video and they were like, that's really cool, we wanna give some stuff away to whoever guesses correctly. So, 15 jars in one month. You know what? No shame, it was good. Um, since this is kind of already about food, I kinda wanted to make this video into the third episode of my reverse diet series because I haven't done it in a while and I want to catch you guys up. Last time we got, we talked, um, my reverse diet was going well, I was hanging out around 120 pounds, my coach raised my calories, everything was going smoothly. So my coach had raised my calories to 160 carbs, 120 protein and 25 to 30 fat. Now. After he did that, I went out to sushi with Nick Dompierre. He's a Live Fit athlete. Um, and you guys probably saw the video. Live, Live Fit made a video about it, so go watch it if you haven't seen it. I'm gonna link it below. Anyways, we went out to sushi, and I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna track this sushi. Coach raised my calories. I'm gonna just eat whatever I want and live my life, and it's all gonna be okay. So I told my coach, I'm like, Coach, I'm not tracking today. I'm sorry. I'll talk to you tomorrow. And then I woke up the next day after eating all of that sushi and I got froyo that was not counted in my macros at all. I woke up the next day lighter than I had been all week and I was like, yes, yes, my metabolism rocks. Like, this is awesome. So I told my coach and he was like, great, let's raise you your calories more. So he raised my calories to 195 carbs, 25 to 30 grams of fat and 120 to 125 grams of protein and that's when things got messy because I was on cloud nine thinking that I had conquered my reverse diet my metabolism was back up to speed and I was invincible so I pretty much the week after that for a whole week just didn't really track very like strictly and I just kind of snacked here and there um, cheated on my macros all week and it definitely caught up with me. I'm not an invincible <laughs> and my metabolism had not been what I had thought it was. So as a result of my cheating on my macros and my reverse diet, I gained about two pounds in like a week and a half. So my coach was like, all right, damage control time, time to bring it back down. Now he lowered my calories because I messed up and cheated on my macros and gained weight. <laughs> so damage control time, he lowered my calories to um, a carb cycle of 130 as my low day, 160 as my middle day, and 195 as my high day. So we're just gonna go through that cycle for a couple weeks to try to um, do a little damage control from my week of like fun that I had. Uh, so that's just that's just how it goes. That's life. It's normal. I'm not regretting that I went crazy that week. I'm not really too worried about it. Yeah, I wish I didn't like just kind of blow it, but that's just life. I had a good time, and I'm not gonna stress myself out about it. I'm just gonna accept the consequences and move forward. Put it behind me. Move forward. So if you guys ever this is a good lesson for you guys too. Um, I know a lot of my clients, if they don't hit their macros perfectly or, you know, they have a rough week. We all have rough weeks. We all have rough days where we cheat a little. It's normal. It's not anything to be ashamed of. Um, when my clients do that and they feel really guilty and bad about it and they're dwelling on it all week, I say like, you know what? What's done is done. Put it behind you and we are moving forward. There is no point in regretting or dwelling on anything that you did. It's not going to do anything for you. It, if anything, it's going to raise your stress levels, raise your, raise your cortisol, and then you're going to hold on to more weight. So just put it behind you, forget about it, move forward. That's all you, that's all you can do. So that's my little life lesson for you guys today. Um, next video I'm going to do is a supplement video. The supplement video that I've been promising you guys it's coming soon, I promise. I've been so busy, you guys. I'm finishing up summer school right now and getting ready to start my fall semester of school, so 
have just been running around like a chicken with the head cut off recently. <laughs> so I'm, I'm really trying to post a video a week. That's what I'm promising you guys. So hold me to that. Oh, update on my vlogging room. It's, it's coming together. Let me show you. Oh yeah, so we hung up the wood. We got my little um, chair thingy with some pillows. Now I just gotta remove all that stuff, clean it out, and then I can finish decorating. So, hopefully the next time you see me, I will be sitting in my vlogging room. <laughs> uh, okay. I don't really have anything else to say. I just wanted to keep this video short and sweet and let you guys know what happened with the nuts and more. Um, so at that, I will leave you at that and I'll talk to you guys soon about supplements. And I hope you have a wonderful day.